Welcome to the tutorial for the preliminary English test. This tutorial will show you how to complete the reading and writing and listening tests. The instructions for each part of the test are in the box at the top of the screen. For some questions, you need to choose an answer. If you want to change your answer, click on your new answer. If you want to leave the question unanswered, click on the answer again. To look at the next question, click on the question number in the navigation bar at the bottom. You can also click on the arrow buttons to look at the next or previous question. When you have answered a question, a line will appear under that question in the navigation bar. You can click on Review if you want to look at a question again later. This will be shown as a circle. Click on the yellow arrow if you want to make the navigation bar smaller. For some questions, you may need to use the scroll bar to move through the longer texts and the options. For some questions, you need to click on the correct text and move it into the gap. If you want to change your answer, move another text into the gap. If you want to leave the question unanswered, move the text back. For some questions, you can click on the question to see the options. You can also use the navigation bar. For some questions, you will need to click on the gap to see a choice of words. You then choose the answer you think is correct. Your chosen answer will then appear in the gap. If you want to change your answer, click on the gap again and the options will appear again. Click on the answer you think is right. If you want to leave the question unanswered, click on the cross. For some questions, you will need to write your answer in the gap in the text on the screen. If you want to change your answer, you can delete it and write your new answer. For parts 2 and 3 of the writing test, write your answer in the space on the right of the screen. In part 3 of the writing test, there is a choice of questions. Answer either question 42 or 43. Click on the question to read it. When you have decided which question you want to answer, click the box next to Choose this question. Your answers are saved automatically. You do not need to press Enter on your keyboard. You can review and change your answers at any time until the end of the test. But before the end of the test, make sure you have clicked on the box next to Choose this question. 
the answer you have written will not change. For the listening test, you can change the volume by using the bar in the top right at any time during the test. Listen carefully for the part number and question numbers to make sure you are looking at the right screen. For each part of the test, you will hear the recording twice. In part one of the listening test, choose your answer by clicking on the picture. To change your answer, Click on one of the other pictures, or click the same picture again if you don't want that answer. After part two has played twice, you will have 30 seconds to check your answers, and after part three, two minutes to check your answers. You will have two minutes at the end of the listening test to check all your answers. There is a clock at the top of the screen which tells you how much time you have left. For the reading and writing test, the clock will turn red and flash when you have ten and five minutes left. The tests will stop when the time finishes. In each of the tests, you can change the settings of the text. To do this, click on the Settings tab at the top of the screen. You can change the size and colour of the text. In each of the tests, there is a Help tab. If you click on the Help tab, this will give you information about the test. Test Help will give you information about how the test works. Task Help gives information on the task you are looking at. You can also choose to highlight sections of text or questions. To do this, left-click and drag your cursor over the section of text or question you wish to highlight. Then right-click and select the Highlight option. To remove highlighting from the text or questions, right-click on the highlighted area and select Clear. You can also make notes on a section of text or on a question. To do this, left-click and move the cursor over the section of text or question you want to make notes about. Then right-click and select the Notes option. Your chosen section of text will be highlighted and a yellow notepad will appear. You can write your notes on this. Click on the red cross in the notepad to hide your notes. To see your notes again, click on the highlighted section of text. If you want to see which areas of highlighted text have notes, Move the cursor slowly over each highlighted text. If a small orange box appears, it means that the highlighted text contains notes. To remove notes from the text or questions, right-click on the highlighted area and select Clear. If you want to remove all highlighting from the screen, Click on any highlighted area and select Clear All. If you need to leave the test room for a few minutes, you can hide your screen by clicking on the Hide tab. Click on the Resume Test button when you return to the test room. 
That is the end of the tutorial. Good luck with the test.